thank you very much. Uh, I'm Shinjo Kim, and I would like to talk about um, load cap. It's uh, an algorithm for occasion and training of all the open data, and uh, its ultimate goal is to realize data set agnostic search. Uh, let me begin with a story about some story about uh, search, uh, particularly uh, what should it be like. Uh, when we think about the keyword based search, which we do using Google or other search engine, uh, what we do is that uh, we begin the search with a search need. We, we do search when we have a search need and we formulate it as a keyword query and we submit it to receive some result. This is what we uh, look for searching the web, the web of uh, documents. Uh, so it's like we are submitting a query, Boolean query to the entire uh, web. Uh, but uh, if we think about what we are doing, search with uh, Sparkle or the web of data is uh, we begin with a uh, data set quite often. Uh, which uh, do the right throughput to be useful. And uh, uh, so it's like a, a quick, we, we have a, a level of data that we pick the target of search and then uh, we find a good use case curve. Because we don't have a real ones, many of the real ones. So we find a good use case curve. And we would like to populate the search need in Sparkle, but to do that, we need to st study the data set, figure out what vocabulary the data set uses and uh, how the data are presented in the data set. Then we can study the query to receive some results. That's uh, what we are. Uh, Often doing uh, for spark research of web of data. And uh, it is, I think, uh, far from an ideal situation. Uh, actually, there are many reasons uh, why, why we are doing it. Uh, I think uh, Michel uh, mentioned the one, one uh, reason, like uh, uh, we are not where we need. So uh, we don't have uh, sufficient data. We have to enjoy a beautiful search <coughs> life. Uh, anyway, uh, we, we, we are observing many uh, data producing uh, projects around us. So I think uh, an improved data will become uh, more, more and more rich. Uh, and, uh, we would like to improve our practice of searching for uh, open data. So we want to begin the search when we have a search need, and we want to be able to formulate the search uh, need immediately without starting the without having to study the target uh, target data. Set. Uh, put that uh, so we don't want to. Uh, have to study about the aspects. Uh, we don't want a uh, search confined in a data set. So, for the second problem, uh, we need a federated search. Uh, but I think uh, we don't need to specify the services. We just uh, uh, call, uh, I call it a data set agnostic search. And it means um, one day we would like to uh, search in this way. We just uh, submit. Uh, query to the entire input of data, and we would like to get some answer from the cloud, from the web of data. And uh, every query project uh, began with this ultimate goal. Of course, uh, it is a long term goal, uh, but uh, we are developing the system toward that direction. And uh, this design is so that users can begin 
Search, uh, for example, drugs. So I would like to search for drugs which uh, has an association with a disease. And uh, the disease may have an association with a uh, gene, uh, like um, ALD gene. Is it ALD? Okay. Uh, ALD gene. Okay. Uh, you can formulate your search in the graph and then uh, uh, you, you choose uh, which uh, data set you want to search. Like I'm created by your LP data set and uh, you search for the Comes uh, in the data set that we project these concepts, and then you can approach the search. Uh, I will show you the result later. So, uh, in this way, you can begin with formulating the result, and then, uh, or you can even formulate the search needed in natural language, like uh, what drugs are used for. Disease is associated with the gene. AFP, then uh, the system will, uh, will analyze the query and then it will uh, produce that uh, search in, in graph. And then you can get a uh, search. In, okay? um, then what uh, this LDQ system does is uh, it performs a uh, data set agnostic search. So uh, it means vocabulary uh, uh, agnostic and the scheme agnostic search. Uh, so it means uh, it uh, considers many uh, synonyms and also, uh, I will out of time, I will show you uh, scheme agnostic search. Scheme agnostic search is uh, when a uh, graph is given. Every possible equivalent variation is automatically generated. And then it performs it, it search for all the patterns. And uh, this is the, the so this was the input search needed. And uh, this uh, result of the search, so it uh, search for every possible on uh, equivalent variations. So for that it produces uh, sparkly automatically in the unit found of uh, possible variations. In this way, the way performs their agnostic, their agnostic search. Uh, and 
Dávid Csánc, Tehát Thank you very much.